name's Lee O'Donnell. I drive a modified buggy. Um, we purchased this buggy uh, from out in Las Vegas. It's more of a short course uh, car. So it's kind of a struggle because uh, our ride height is, is not what it needs to be on a track like this. The, uh, this course today was, was pretty brutal. The rocks were, were big, <laughs> um, to say the least. So um, we struggled, we, uh, we had a parts failure, uh, broke a torsion, rear torsion bar. So kind of put us out, but we still wound up uh, ninth in points, which is uh, pretty good for this little car against um, some of the best that Pennsylvania has to offer. Um, one of my favorite things about racing here is you have rigs that are, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars, almost up to 100 thousand um, dollars. Those Ultra Four cars, all the way down to a guy um, with a Suzuki Samurai with a roll cage in it and they're racing on the same course at the same time. Um, so that throws a whole different dimension in, in, into your race and how you go about racing, you know, because you are you can be fast and, uh, the fastest guy on the course, but you get behind one of them slow guys and he doesn't pull over fast enough or he just holds you up and that could ruin your day, you know. Um, Stuff like that is, you know, you can't calculate for that. And that's, you know, that's one of the the, the, the truest parts of racing here. You know, and I, I love that part. I started here maybe in, jeez, uh, 86 maybe I did my first seven miler. And, you know, I went through a few years where all you wanted to do was finish. Um, and then, uh, you know, I kind of went away and, and did some other forms of racing. Um, but as things usually do, they come full circle. And here I am back and enjoying what I did when I was younger. No, I've raced a lot of things in, in, my, in my time, my career. Um, I've raced, I started in Jeeps up here uh, on the mountain. Um, I went, I raced uh, professionally, pro light. Uh, I've raced pro four. I've done, uh, I, I still do monster trucks for Monster Jam. Um, you know, all those things just uh, made for a pretty interesting life so far. When you come here, uh, the property is owned by by the Lennigs Dale, um, so it's it's been family since you know since I was a little kid, and now I get to share the same experiences as I was growing up on this mountain with my daughter, my two daughters, uh, Caitlin and Lindsay, and they race four wheelers. Uh, after our race is done, they have uh, junior jeepers, so the kids race four wheelers. You know, it keeps the whole family involved. Um, you know, which is, is kind of special. You don't get that in a lot of other forms of racing, but up here you do. All this doesn't just happen. Um, it's very expensive to do this. It's, it can be very expensive to do this. Um, without people supporting you, it, it's almost impossible, you know, for someone like me. Um, you know, when we talked about family, Cap Connection, they're parked right next to me. They help me all week long um, getting the car ready. Anything I need, they take care of, um, which is huge. Um, mud Muncher, roll off, tear off system. Um, you know, you, you can see how muddy the car is. I had zero issue with visibility for sure. Um, hogs and heifers, you know, they're they're the same thing they're just one big family um, it's a it's a awesome bar in Las Vegas and I suggest everybody go try it when they go there it's pretty crazy um, hook a harness best seat belts best harness in the business man you ratchet yourself in and you're done you don't you don't, there's no pulling on the straps or I'm not tight enough one and done um, Never lift, you know. They uh, they came on board a couple years ago, um, supply us with all our, our T 
t-shirts and hats and you know giveaways so uh, I'd like to thank them as well um, and then the family without them I can't do this at all so